As I got asked uh, quite a few times about the Xiaomi 14 and its benchmark performance with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, let's check out some benchmark results here. So we have Geekbench 6 here. Let's take a look at the history. I've ran this already. This is the result, as you can see here, 21, 19 in single score and uh, 60,759 in multi-score. This is really, really a good value here. Geekbench 5 is also not bad. Let's check this out here. And we can see 1664 and 6107 in multi score, also pretty nice and very fast indeed. Then I also ran our uh, Antutu benchmark there. So it's the 3D one. Let's run the normal one. And uh, this is the score that I got here. You can see it's a little bit under the 200. Um, 2 million actually, 1,967,881 and this is the score. You can see that this value is not right. It rose I think 11%, what is it, 15% from 24 to 39% um, uh, temperature Celsius degree and uh, the battery usage is uh, these values are wrong I'm not sure what's going on there with those values there but the battery usage was also like uh, going up uh, going down 10% something like this when running uh, Antutu um, benchmark here then I try to also run 3D mark uh, the gamers benchmark uh, especially the wildlife stress test but for some reason I think at one loop it just I don't know eighth or tenth loop it just stopped working uh, all this running with the performance mode enabled that you can enable here in settings when you go into battery and then the current mode is in on balanced but if you have it to performance set then it will unleash its full potential there and uh, as you can see here it unleashed its full potential there at the end nearly and uh, yeah, think that the last bits and pieces there is the benchmarking app, Free Life, that did not run through, which is a bit of a bummer. But um, in day to day usage, I never had any like stuttering because of overheating, also, no issues with the camera and a little bit longer recordings there. Uh, in regards to overheating. So overall, I'm um, a bit surprised that the Free Life Extreme Test is not working through, but it's a pretty slim device, kind of, and a bit of a smallish device, so there might be some optimizations to be done. And Xiaomi is not known to be very good when it comes to optimizing their phones for thermals, so this might be an issue there still with this device. Nevertheless, I'm um, yeah not not completely unhappy with the results so far with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on the Xiaomi 14. If you have some other questions regarding the Xiaomi 14, of course, I will do a camera comparison. I will do, I've already prepared a video for a photo comparison, first impressions, photos uh, that I took, and uh, there will be a video comparison coming out uh, pretty shortly or pretty soon, actually, um, where I compare the Xiaomi 14 against the Xiaomi 13 Pro. And uh, the 13 Pro I also have somewhere here lying around there we have the 13 pro and this vegan leather version that i have lying around and i did a 4k 60 frames per second video comparison that will be coming pretty soon and um, then of course a full-blown camera comparison between the 13 pro against the xiaomi 14 uh, which might be interesting for some people so stay tuned and until the next time bye